Hey guys, this is No Solution. I'm Scott. And I know everyone's waiting for my thoughts on an album that nobody's really talked about. So let's get into it. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I, I saw Hammer Heart Reviews video. He's more fired up about it than me, but complaining about the number of reviews for this. Um, and specifically the number of reviews that came out within hours after it was released, not dropped, released, we'll get to that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the morning after the release, uh, just hundreds of reviews of this. And his point was, how can you review this? Um, assumably, you probably only listen to it once on Spotify, and then now you're coming out with a review. I mean, obviously, you know, People do first impression videos about things. And I do that too with my blind by blasphemies, but I did agree with this point. Uh, you can't listen to this once or tw once uh, on Spotify and then give it a fair review. Um, you know, and there are exceptions people, you know, certain people who uh, get promos early, who have listened to it a bunch of times and can give a, a well thought out review. I appreciate that. But the, uh, the race to be first. I'm, you know, this is a big album and I'm going to be the first one to review it and I'm going to get all the clicks. I just think that's kind of gross. So, um, I'm not reviewing, I'm not reviewing it because there's a thousand reviews out there and I don't really think my opinion is that awesome that I'm going to add anything to what everybody said. Uh, I like it. It's got some member berries on it, as you would expect. Uh, they've been doing this for 50 years. So, I think it's a solid album. I'm glad I got it. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from there. Um, I wanted to, this is, I think I put it in the title. This is a grumpy video. I'm grumpy and I want to bitch about shit. So if you don't want to listen to that, no problem. See you on the next one, hopefully. Uh, so this version, uh, in other countries, I believe you could order it from Judas Priest's website. And I don't know if there are other ways to get it. In America, you could only get it at Target. It was a Target exclusive. And if you're not from America, Target is like a department store. You know, you would go there to buy dog food and shampoo and then, you know, maybe some soda or something. Um, used to be kind of big in the physical media game, not really anymore. So I was very surprised they had a Target exclusive for this, which it's a big release for the metal people. But for the general public, I don't think they really care. Uh, so I was looking, this has three bonus tracks on it. It's also like a hard digi book. It's, it's an, it's a neat package. Um, I'm sure everybody's shown it, so I don't know why I'm showing it, but it's got like artwork dedicated to each song. It's a pretty neat package as far as that goes. Uh, but Target was selling it for $25 and shipping only. Uh, I wasn't clear if it was ever going to be in stores. So $25 plus shipping plus tax, it was going to be $32 for one fucking CD. And I was like, get fucked. No way. I'm not doing that. But I kept checking back because I'm a psycho and I want, I, you know, if there's a better version, I want the better version. They did drop the price by $5, but still you can only get it shipped. Um, then on release day, I checked again and they said, Oh, now you can order it, you know, and pick it up in the store. It was still $20, but it didn't have the shipping, obviously. And I've got a Target a couple miles away from me, so no big deal. Said they had it. I ordered it. They said, okay, okay, it'll be an hour or two, and then it'll be ready for pickup. I waited and waited, and then finally I got an email saying, oh, it turns out we don't have it. I'd already fucking paid. Uh, it said, well, maybe we have it in another store nearby, and you can pick it up there. So I check, and there's the next closest one to me had it. But next closest, it was like, eh, you know, it's a 15, 20 minute drive one way, and then, you know, back and on a work day. <clears throat> but I, I did it. I had it, uh, had my order moved over there, and I ended up picking, up picking it up the next day. I probably spent more in gas than the shipping would have cost, but I have it now, so whatever. Um, my, my review. It's not, I mean, my review is of this version, I guess. There's three bonus tracks. 
I don't think there's anything on there essential that you need to have. It's not like there's anything on here I thought should have been on the main album. They were they feel like they are bonus tracks, leftovers, would have been B sides in another era. Um, but the the hard digi book is cool. I don't know what the packaging of the of the regular one is. I think it's just like one of those shitty digi sleeves. So if you want, you know, the kind of more substantial package, I get it. And if you're a sicko and need need every track i understand that too but for anyone who's not insane like me i would say you don't have to bother with this one maybe go the cheaper version but that's that what else can we bitch about um <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm gonna jump on an ice cold uh hot topic it was you know going all around the metal vc a couple weeks ago the new carrie king song from the new carrie king album um the ai cover art seemed to be the the main talking point of this mine was the song itself i thought it was boring i didn't even get through the whole song it was it sounded like a leftover from latter day slayer which i'm not that into obvious i have i think i i do i know i do have repentless the last album and i've never even opened it uh i just picked it up cheap because it said slayer on it because i'm an idiot um so yeah, it just sound and they Mark from Death Angel does the vocals. It sounds like he's just trying to do his best Tom Araya impression. Um, it's just very pedestrian and lame. You get the feeling it thinks it's heavier and more evil than it is, which really matches, I think, Kerry King himself. He's just such a fucking douche. Um, I I said it on a stream with Eli. I think he he's the human embodiment of Jägermeister. That that sums up Kerry King. It's like you can look at him, you can see the stink lines of Axe and PBR and BO and probably uh, date sexual assault coming off him. Uh, he's just such a try-hard douche. I did, I'm not interested in the song, didn't change my mind. If that band was playing in my backyard, I would close the curtains. So uh, that's that on Kerry King. And oh, and also he was apparently I didn't even look at it, but I've heard he was talking shit about like Tom and Jeff and and whatever in the promo for this new sweet Carrie King solo album. And then like two weeks later, they announced a Slayer reunion and they're going to play some festivals. I know as I get older, time speeds up, but it feels like Slayer retired like two weeks ago. I know I think it was like 2019 or something, but don't you have to like give people time to miss you before the reunion. I don't know. People seem to be fired up about it. So I don't know. I mean, I'm very happy for people who are excited to see Slayer Slayer with two session players do their set from the nineties again. Uh, you know, okay. I, I guess if you've never seen them, that's cool. I mean, you know, I've seen Slayer a bunch of times, so I'm not, I do not care at all. Uh, and I'm surprised anyone does, but I'm, I told you I was grumpy. I'm just being an old man being grumpy about shit right now. Um, oh, so circling back to when I said something about the drop, the drop of the album, uh, that term fucking grinds my gears. And I, it did so much that I decided I wanted to figure out where did this come from? Like when I was uh, in my younger days buying albums, it was never there was never a drop. It was the release day, and uh, I don't know. All of a sudden, everything drops, dropping. Everything's dropping all the time. So I went and looked back. It seems to have come from uh, hip hop in the '90s, some kind of like hip hop slang, and uh, the most concrete example of it is Macy Gray. Fucking Macy Gray, remember her? Uh, she wore a dress to the 2001 MTV Awards that says, some, my album drops, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I guess that's where it came from, and it crossed over. I don't understand. To me, a drop is like some, like an accident or like a negative thing. And I, I looked up like the dictionary definition, and that, that kind of, yeah, it's that's kind of what it is, like a sudden a sudden, usually negative thing. Um, like, you know, you drop your coffee cup and it shatters, uh, you know, something like that. You drop your baby. It's not something that's pre-planned and supposed to be positive, but I don't, whatever it took off. And I just think it's super cringe and corny. 
and now everything drops apps drop video games drop albums obviously drop movies fucking household appliances drop i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say i know language changes and evolves i don't fucking like it uh so <laughs> when, when i hear somebody say my fucking album drops i just want to say fucking drop dead and another thing all right i'm done uh, this is a, this is a window into my life. This is a window into what my wife, uh, deals with. So <laughs> are you jealous ladies? Um, I don't know. I was just grumpy and I wanted to bitch about shit. So that's what this video is, I guess. Uh, thanks for putting up with me guys. Thanks for letting me vent. And, uh, if you didn't like this, I try not to be negative. So next video hopefully i'll just be talking about things i like this time i just enough things were pissing me off i just wanted to talk about them so uh thank you for watching and as always something else that pisses me off cm punk is a piss baby all right later guys